Hello and welcome back to another Pipedrive tutorial video by iSales Solutions. I'm Matthew Isalis and today we're going to be talking about how we can create deals automatically in Pipedrive. Now we've already created a video in the past about how you can create deals manually and I think we gave maybe three or four different options. Um, when it comes to creating deals automatically, honestly there's an unlimited amount right because we're able to connect different apps to pipe drive which, which opens up this entire world of thousands of different apps thousands of ways that we might decide to trigger the creation of deals in pipe drive that being said we're going to break down the um, types of ways that we can create deals automatically into two categories first off we have the um, ways that are native to pipe drive right there's two that we're going to talk about today and then we're going to give one example of um, thousands of possibilities of how you can create deals automatically from third party tools uh, and create deals in Pipedrive from that. So let's start out here in Pipedrive and talk about um, the lead booster feature in Pipedrive. This is where we find both of the native options for creating deals automatically in Pipedrive. The first one is going to be the chatbot. We've all been to websites that have chatbots. Um, it depends how well they're designed, but they can be pretty effective at um, getting new signups, at um, qualifying people, at putting, you know, pushing people in the right direction in terms of uh, what resources they need. So uh, Pipedrive's Lead Booster feature does have a chatbot op option, and it's pretty easy to set up. So all we have to do here is we're going to hit Add New Playbook. I'm going to choose the styling of and colors of the playbook. I'm going to hit continue. Now here, this is where we can update the image and the name of our chatbot. And it's important that when we are adding an image or adding a name to a chatbot, we're not trying to imitate a human. We have to be uh, build trust with our potential clients. And um, the worst, you know, the best way to do that is by being, you know, upfront from the beginning and say when it's a chatbot versus when it's a live um, agent that the potential customer might be talking to. Um, down here, you can choose your language uh, as well. There's a bunch of options there, and then you can hit continue. Here's where we really get into the various uses of the chatbot, right? You can use the chatbot just to get more leads, to book more meetings, to qualify and route potential leads, and then also just to get uh, people directly on live chat and, and talking with um, some of your agents. In our case, we're just going to do a general, a generic one, get more leads, and we're going to hit create playbook. So here it's given you a sample path um, that you're able to update. There's a lot more details we can get into about chatbot, but um, for now, we'll just keep it as it is. You can see here that the first question asked is what brought you to a website? And then it gives three options. I'm looking to buy, I'm just browsing, or I'd like some help. You notice that for I'm just browsing or like some help, we're disqualifying them as sales leads or deals, right? And, and we, can do, we can choose either one. Um, but we're leaving them with with a message. Uh, if they say, I'm just browsing, cool, I'm here to help if you need anything. Uh, if they say they need some help, we're redirecting them to uh, our support line, which is support at whatever company is.com. Now, the one that we're interested in here is this path right here, saying I'm looking to buy. In this case, we send them a message and then we collect some of the information, their name, their uh, organization, their email, and then we're, we're saying, hey, we'll have one of our sales agents follow up. In the meantime, we're creating them as we get the choice of a lead or a deal. Obviously, this can be customized a lot more. I'm just going through this quickly so you get the idea of what the basic setup process is like for creating a chatbot and what you want to do from here. So we have the option of saying okay yes we want to create a deal instead of a lead we have that option and we can say here which pipeline and which stage we want that deal to land in uh, at the point of it being created in this case we just want lead qualified we're going to choose the deal owner and we're good to go so i'm going to save this here um, but the cool thing is we can actually test this right away with these forms um, usually you'd have it installed or embedded on the website but for testing purposes, we can actually just click right here and I'm going to take us through it. So I'm going to hit, I'm looking to buy. Then we add, they ask for the information. And 
and then email, right? This was the last one that it asked for. All right. So now that we've done this, what you're actually going to see is we have the, the, you know, the, the goodbye message here. And if we go to the sales pipeline, you can see that it shows up right here. Now, what you're able to see here is you're able to see that the deal was created. It's connected to a person and organization that was created from those chatbot answers. And we have the chatbot chat down here below. So um, that's one way how we're able to create deals automatically on the website. That's option one of two of the PipeDrive's native options for automatic deal creation. Um, the other one is pretty, pretty similar. We're gonna go back into the lead booster feature right here, right? We hit web forms. So obviously the, the other you know key feature of a website, uh, apart from, you might have a chat bot, apart from that is um, the web form, right? The contact us form, you might have additional forms on your website, um, but PipeDrive has a web form its own and you can set those up pretty easily in PipeDrive. Again, choose a color scheme, choose the language and the style and continue. And then here's where we talk about, again, um, what the pipe drive web forms can do. They can use before contact for registration for some type of event, download material, which is actually a newer feature for pipe drive. And then also just a blank form that can be used for anything. So we're going to hit create web form and we can personalize this as necessary. In our case, I'm just going to keep this as is. So I'm just going to hit save. We have this new form right here. And actually, I am going to actually update some of the submit options here. I like to put first before the deal. Oops. right down here that we want to choose deal, web form, sales pipeline, and good to go. Okay, now at this point, we're gonna go to share and embed. And I'm gonna just run a quick test here. Pull up the live form. And here's an example of what it looked like. Again, I'm going to put in my information. And we're hitting submit. At this point as well, we'll see the same thing happen. If we go to the deals pipeline, we see this new deal just created right now. Um, again, just like the chatbot, it pulls in the per person and organization details if they're provided, and then it leaves the submission details as a note in the deal uh, done section. All right, so we've talked about the two native ways that um, we can create deals in PipeDrive, and switching to the other side of thing, the outside third-party options, there's an unlimited amount of options, but Typically, if you're using PipeDrive, we're routing those options through those triggers through something called Zapier. Zapier is an automation tool that allows you to connect different apps together. There are also competitors to Zapier, stuff like make.com, uh, which used to be called Integromat. Um, and there's a couple more, but those are the main ones that we work with. So in this case, the, what I would like to show you is an example of how we can use a um, scheduling link like Calendly, which is very popular among, among salespeople, to create deals in PipeDrive. So maybe you have a calendar embedded right on your website, a Calendly calendar on your website. Um, maybe you have a email campaign that includes a Calendly link. Um, whatever it is, uh, using these scheduling links as a trigger to create deals in PipeDrive is something that's pretty easy to do and, and it saves you a lot of time. So. Um, how we typically set this up, there's a lot of details in the background that I won't show, but how we typically set this up is we have the trigger, a new event in Calendly. We're filtering for the right event. 
And then we're finding or creating the organization, finding or creating the person in Pipedrive, we're creating a new deal in Pipedrive, and we're adding an activity to talk about some of the details related to that new, uh, the new invitation that was created. So with all that out of the way, we can do a quick test here as well. And I'll just choose a time here. I'll put in my details once again. Now here, something cool about the calendar form is we're able to add additional custom questions as well. And what we can do here then is we can see that this form submission, this, this uh, calendar, calendly invite uh, will create a new deal in Pipedrive as well. In this case, we had selected, as we've seen here, to show the deal come up in the second stage of the pipeline, the meeting book stage, because it makes sense. We again add in all the details we can here on the left hand side for the people and organization. And we're adding in the event details here on the right hand side, where we say the event type with the event person. Uh, and then we have all the details of what they filled out here below. That's all custom stuff that we built out in um, Zapier, but it's pretty simple to set up. If you have questions about it, please let us know. Now, something else that we mentioned, another good example is, you know, I showed you a native way of create deals uh, automatically by using the Pipedrive web form. There's also a ton of other web form uh, platforms out there that you can integrate with Zapier uh, and then through Pipedrive, which would be stuff like JotForm, Gravity Forms, um, I'm blanking right now, but there's a ton of them out there um, that you can use to, uh, again, create forms on your website, push those submissions through Zapier, and then, um, you know, create a deal in Pipedrive off of those submissions. There's also stuff like you might have surveys, you might have people come from marketing uh, automations. There's tons of ways that deals can get into Pipedrive automatically, but I hope um, that this uh, short demo here uh, with the lead booster uh, chatbot with the web form and with the Calendly submission starts to give you some ideas of how you can automate your sales process uh, and make your life easier when you're using Pipedrive. If you have any questions, please let us know. Leave a comment down below if you appreciate this content or um, if you'd like us to create um, content around any other uh, Pipedrive topics, just let us know about that in the comments. Um, Please remember to like this video and subscribe um, for more um, sales training, pipe drive training, uh, marketing. Uh, all that content is in the pipeline, and we look forward to producing it for you. Thanks.